It's one of the oldest unsolved missing persons cases in the entire country. A tigered husband and father just vanished from Portland on Halloween weekend way back in 1926. Well, decades later, investigators thought the case might finally be solved, only to have the mystery deepen. In tonight's Coin 6 Unsolved, our Amy Frazier looks into the disappearance of Marvin Alvin Clark. I wonder who he was and why he left, or was there some foul play, or, you know, why did he, why did he leave the family and, and not uh, come back again? The mystery began 92 years ago on Halloween weekend in downtown Portland, a case that made headlines in the Oregonian. Tigered man 75 missing, Marvin A. Clark, last seen at Stage Depot. I have within our family belongings pictures of him. Pam Knowles is Marvin Clark's great great granddaughter. She says he and his wife Mary raised four children. He was reportedly once the town marshal in Linton, but in 1926, he vanished. Disappeared. Disappeared. So where is he? Or what, what happened to him? I don't know the answer to that, and I think it would be great to find out. The 1926 Oregonian article describes Clark as a well-known resident of Tigard the last 15 years. It says he left his Tigard home on October 30th and boarded a motor stage to visit his daughter in Portland. Clark's wife later learned he never made it. Relatives started a frantic search. The missing man is afflicted with paralysis on one side and is said to have a halting gait. Two weeks later, Later, there was still no sign of Clark. The paper announced a reward for information. Do you know at the time the family put out a hundred dollar reward? They did? Uh-huh. Wow. Oh, that's a lot of money for them too. Wow. The search continued, but hopes faded with the passing time. Never found out anything about him. Then in 1986, there was a twist in the case when some loggers discovered some very old skeletal remains in the hills above Highway 30. Coin 6 News was there in 86 as investigators recovered the remains and discovered some unusual items suggesting the man had died decades earlier. Uh, we did find some coins in his pocket that were dated 1919 and the other one was dated in the same era. And it looks like it probably been there for many, many years. At the time, investigators thought it might be Marvin Clark, but there just wasn't enough evidence to know for sure. The bones were recovered at the time it was deemed a suicide based on the police report. Um, and then the, the, the bones were taken to the medical examiner's office where they sat. Sat until 2011 when Dr. Nikki Vance with the state medical examiner's office turned to modern DNA technology for answers. Investigators got a good DNA profile from the bones, but still needed DNA samples from Clark's Descendants. A lot of the items were old, uh, were consistent with him, which is consistent with the time that he went missing in 1926. Um, so it's, it's, everything was there. You know, if I had to bet on it, I would have bet that it was him. At the time, Sergeant Ryan Hakla was the missing persons detective for Multnomah County. He worked with a genealogist and in 2014 tracked down Pam Knowles. And what he basically wanted me to do was. Uh, to give him a swab so they could see if there was a, uh, uh, this, if this truly was uh, the bones of Mal, uh, Marvin Alvin Clark. So the results took months. Uh, kind of agonizing because we knew it was him. Everybody was ready for it. We just needed the confirmation, and it wasn't. It wasn't him, unfortunately. So two mysteries remain: who died in the woods, and what happened to Marvin Clark. Uh, you know, it's still, we were able to put together so much family history and. Her DNA is now on file, and Marvin Clark's case is listed in the National Missing and Unidentified Persons Database, known as NamUs. If at any point in the future, bones are sent in, and it is Marvin, we will get a positive identification. And who's not to say he won't get found by a hunter, or a landscaper, or a developer, or something like that? It happens. So there's a chance that he can be found. I would love to have a tip so that we could find out what happened to Marvin. Amy Frazier. Grandpa Marvin. Point 6 News.